Right now we're riding on top of an elephant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello. And I kind of like feel bad that we're riding on top of an elephant. But he's it's a beautiful like creature and he seems to be very fat, fit. And we're gonna enter the national park. Hopefully we'll get to see a tiger or a rhino. We're seeing different landscapes as we fly. And unless you go trekking, you will not see these views. And that's the lake in front of us. And we'll probably pass by the bushes. Ooh. Brilliant. <laughs> That's a little. <laughs> That's a little ish, you know. We have big portions in the States, so it's a little. Flop her around a little bit. Slap her. Oh, perfect. <laughs> Those are clean now, huh? And now they're clean. <laughs> So right now we're on our way to Dimali to meet Anthony and the group from Maya Universe Academy. And this is our bumpy road trip right here. So yeah, winding roads, taking a cab, squeezing it all in. We, could, we could bought some like tools to cut down some bamboos and stuff like that. So we'll be doing some real physical work out there. We don't know what's in the plate for us, but it's going to be exciting. Uh, really excited to go work at the school now. Do some physical labor, meet the kids. You know, really make an, make an impression for these guys. And I'm going to be, hopefully, teaching the kids to draw. And now um, we're traveling to uh, Damali uh, to meet uh, Manjil, uh, Manjil Rana, who made the school, and other folks from uh, Australia uh, who have been in Pokhara too. So they've been waiting for us, and right now uh, we're all like excited to just travel in this winding roads right here. Turn the camera right there. Here's the road. Here's the road. That's a truck. It says push hard. Hey, you're on top of the bus right now. And we're traveling to the Moli to get our next bus. Right? And look at the So we are right here. Look at the roads for a while. So did the roads for the sun. Right here. So this was a signal that it's assembly time. It's 10 a.m. here. Everyone's now slowly gathering in the field. They're done with their warm up. Okay, so uh, does anyone have anything to say? Are we ready to start playing games? Yeah! Okay, listen. So I was thinking today we can have a very big uh, cup, yeah? All the teachers and the new new guests will be in one team. All the students, Tiger and Simba, you want one team? Mistai! Mistai! So we're in the finale stage. 
We just have two teachers and a bunch of students still alive. So yeah, this is the path to the classroom. You can see there's one classroom right there. Teachers are walking down. The other classroom. As I said, the walk is beautiful. You can see chicken right here. And piglets all around. Hello, Manjula. Hello, amigo. How are you? I'm very good. I have a class now. Okay, Simba class, come inside. So it's a class time, Simba class. Hello. What class is this? Simba. Simba class. Simba class? Yes. yes. Now who's the teacher now? Monisa. What is he teaching? Uh, grammar. 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 You like grammar? Yes. yes. Nice. I'll see you inside class in a while. So you can see the classroom is painted with this beautiful art. Uh, a lot of Korean volunteers are here building this artistic piece. You can see the main artist right there. Hi, Jason. How long are you guys staying here? Um, two months. Two months? So the whole school is going to be colorful by then? Yeah. <laughs> All right. I promise. <laughs> okay. So we, we are making a bamboo classroom and for that we are like sharpening the bamboos, making it thinner. And you can see some of our folks from Kobe Star are involved here. So what, what are you exactly doing here? I'm slicing layers. Uh, off of this bamboo, it's going to go toward making walls and classrooms here at Maya. So this is our friend Julius who's been volunteering here for how many months? How many? Five weeks. weeks five five weeks. weeks till now. And so Julius, uh, out of all the things, uh, all the social service acts you can do, uh, why did you choose Maya? Uh, because I saw the video on the website and I think it's really great that the people here, uh, that Manjil and Yoon and everybody from Maya tries to help people from a rural village and give them opportunities that they normally wouldn't get so just look at how good the English is of the kids and uh -huh. their med levels and everything like they're gonna be so much more than just a farmer making their living hopefully they can change something in Nepal mm -hmm. what would be the one thing that you'd say that you like the most about this place uh, that has to be the kids, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Maya Universe, Afno Chorato, like Kino Poron, were a kid, not a dick Novagosa. Is Nani so here after those sliced bamboos from Kobe, Nishal and all the other guys, they are preparing it to make those walls. What are you guys doing here? Yeah, we're like making some walls for this house that, uh, yeah, for this classroom. Like we're doing something like that. You see that? Mm -hmm. computer lab. Yeah, computer lab. I like that. We're making walls. I like. All right, great. Yeah, we've made three walls already, so like three walls. So this is one of our last days today. I'm going inside this classroom, this beautiful classroom. It's a Simba classroom. It's like grade two and three students. So you'll see who the teacher is here. You understand? So yeah, so think about that. And... Now, I want you all to start drawing yourselves on the picture, and that is called self-portrait on the left-hand side of the page, okay? We all are drawing ourselves now. I will draw Amigo, Dorze will draw Dorze. <laughs> Everyone will draw themselves, okay? In the paper. Just try to think, what does your friend remind you of? What is he like? You don't need to draw his face, his nose, his eyes exactly. Try to draw, what does that person mean to you? 
Okay, what did you draw, Amrita? Show it to the class. Wow, <laughs> big teeth. <laughs> I think Amrita is handsome and is strong, and he is superior. And he has long hair and long teeth. I think Amrita is handsome. All right. Next group. <laughs> So we're cooking some food today. We tried to cook some food yesterday too. It was pretty good. Yesterday was more of a vegetarian day. So today it's uh, it's a, it's actually a fusion of Western and Eastern culture here. And Julius came up with the idea of making some pasta yeah, in a Nepali so. style. <laughs> <laughs> so the pasta is cooking right there. But the sauce is going to be a Nepali sauce. It's going to be a Nepali chicken sauce mm. with the pasta. That's so, awesome. Let's see how it goes. So it's a real burn some wood, burn the fire. So nice. That's how we're starting. I can't wait. Okay, please open your eyes. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you everyone for welcoming us, being with us, and just making this our home too. Thank you. You guys are so much smarter, so much friendly, and so much, you know, you guys make it feel like home to us. Thank you very much for that. And it's a great thing that all Maya and Mayan teams are doing right now. Thank you, Maya. Thank you, Universe. So Manzilai, as we bid farewell to you right now and to Maya School, we obviously think that there's going to be a long-term relation with you. Do you have any last words and messages for uh, Kolvishar? First of all, uh, for all the students of Kolvishar, thank you very much. Uh, for all the help you have uh, given us with the funding and these four very beautiful human beings that came here. And I hope we get to see a lot more people from Kolvishar coming to uh, volunteer at Maya and helping out Maya at any ways we can. We were a very small process and we are growing because of help from people like you guys from all over the world and I think we have something very nice in our hands and hopefully it will, it will be very nice. Thank you. Thank you again. Alright, one, two, three. Thank you, Sierra.